Hi, welcome. This is Mr. E. Look, Rick King. I'm doing an unboxing. I just got back uh, a submission from uh, EGS. So I got, also got some uh, CBCS one, PGX, and a CGC to compare them all, basically. It's supposed to be the new uh, slab that they have. Well, we'll see if they did it right. They might be the old one, but it's supposed to be the new one. So I got it right here. Let's, let's see what it is. I'm assuming this should be like eight and a half to like nine two ish. If it's lower than that, I'll be shocked. But uh, let's see in a minute. Let me get open here. Let's see. It's not really uh, anything valuable. It's just a random dollar bin type of book I had graded. It's Suicide Squad number five. It's actually the first appearance of a character. It's a Russian, uh, well, Soviet Union uh, bad guy. Can't remember his name. He was only in a couple of issues. And he, I think he died in the next issue after that. So let's see what we got here. So you can see it's packaged pretty good. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna do this to see how the custom labels are. I'm just curious more than anything else. Couldn't find my box cutter, so I'm using scissors. It took about five months to get back because I had it pressed and cleaned. And then I told them to wait on the new case instead of me having to resubmit. But it looks like they, it's in the old case, of course. So they're supposed to wait for the new case, but they didn't. So it is the old case. So I really can't compare the new slabs with the other slabs because they uh, were supposed to hold this and not ship it out yet, but they did not. So, anyway. I won't be sending it back to get the new case in this because it's not worth that. So I'll just have to submit another book later on this year. Anyway, I figured it would be like a 9-2, like I said. If I had it pressed and cleaned, it came back a 9-4. Anyway, I wanted to get the custom label right here. Let me take out the thing so you can see it better. Anyway, looks like they were there. So I can see what I'm doing right there. It's number five. You can see the custom labels right here. It's pretty close to what I uh, asked for. 
but I asked for a uh, brown label, you know, with a uh, red star, you know, and they're, you know, the rest of it, they did like that. It looks all right. It is uh, the first appearance of Zoya Trigorian or something like that. You can see right there. I don't know if it's clear or not. Anyway, I got it out of Dollar Man. I was wanting to test their services out. So I figured it was like, like I said, 9 2 ish without being pressed. It got pressed and came back uh, 9.4. Does have some Newton rings though, right here and right here, of course, and right here, right here. Some right here. So, me, right here, some more. Got a lot of new rings, actually. But it's alright. It still displays well. It's not bad. You got security tape here. They got taped here. And they got taped here. So, if you mess with it, they'll know. So, anyway. Not that bad. It's pretty sturdy, considering. But what I understand is new case is kind of like this right here. If I'm not mistaken, it's kind of like a blue tint like this. This is kind of like the color theirs is. It's kind of like a blue tint like this. This is my CBS, C, a C, CBCS one I got. This is my newer, newest CBCS one. It is the outer, outer limits borough exclusive my local comic book shop and it's done by uh david nakiyamo done the cover i think it's limited to i think 500 or something like that anyway this is crossover number one it's a pretty sturdy case it doesn't crack or bend or nothing one, my understanding is their new uh, EGS new case is close to this because it has a blue tint like this does. This one's got a slight blue tint to it. Anyway, and <clears throat> I got I did this one recently too to see PGX. It's pretty sturdy. This is actually their cases are kind of like the old CGC cases. Because my uh, Batman Adventures 12 is in the same kind of case as this. Anyway, so I got this one. It's Red Master 47. It's a 3.5. It looks good. The problem, the reason why it's 3.5 is it's got uh, water stain right here and rust on the uh, staples. If it wasn't for that, this would be probably about six and a half six or six and a half so it went down three and a half because of the uh rust migration stains on the coat on the uh spine that's kind of cool though I like this one display is really nice and then of course the cgc one this is the newest one i got it's from 2020 this is a lot thicker case Anyway, goes down. It's a real thick case. It's pretty sturdy. And these are about, yeah, you know, these two are the same size. The PGX and the CBCS are the same size. And look at this, uh, see the blue tint I was talking about? It's got blue tint to it. Let's see, this one's clear. Anyway, I don't have no trouble with none of these grading services. Like I said, uh, I figured this would be like a three, you know, that's three and a half. And this one right here, I figured two and a half. I pressed and clean it, came back at 9.4. 
it's not worth nothing. I just want to test the uh, grading service out. So, yeah, that's pretty accurate. And they also give you grader notes too. So everybody's giving free grader notes pretty much. PGX will put it on the back of the slab if you ask for them for $5. And CGC and CBCS are free. And EGS uh, sends you this. So, Suicide Squad number five. Corner, scuff top, bottom, left front cover. All right. And it says spine stress lines, front and back cover. All right, so here. Yeah. I see one. I don't see which one spine tick though. This step, okay. There's one right there. Just one in the back. Two, three. Three really small ones right here. The white. I want to see one of the front cover though. It's right here. Um, yeah, so it's like maybe four or five spine ticks. And this one is a corner scuff top and bottom left front cover. The left front. Top and bottom. There's a little small ding here, a little small ding here, a little small scuff here. Uh, So, this is pretty bad at the bottom. This was not that bad at the top. But the spine stress, there's not that much spine stress. So, I guess, you know, I guess this one's 9.4. Okay, there you go. Let's see it better now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, 7 small ones on the white. The one in the front, one that actually breaks color. So, yeah, I guess it is 9.4. It's pretty good. It's not bad. Anyway, I wanted to compare the new one because I asked them to hold it to the new one came in, but then it shipped out right away. So, I like the labels. I think the label looks pretty cool. But the new labels, though, they're going to put this right here. This they're going to put on the front right here. But it's going to be square. I'm assuming from what I understand the, the example. It's going to have the logo right here. Just like CBCS and CGC. Um, but overall, I really like the uh, colors. It goes well with the cover. So I'm going to be doing more of these probably. I think it looks really good with it. It doesn't take away from the comic book cover. Looks pretty good. And I think that this one takes away less because the blue, because the whole thing is kind of like a blue tint. But compared to side by side, I kind of like this better. weird but you know i'm not really picky so basically the covers i really like they ain't worth nothing much but i like the artwork this is what i'm going with this one right here i got seven books out right now and uh, from the convention from last year they haven't sent it back they're still processing so the uh i had five books signed and two of them 
I was like, you know, bottom, so I might as well get them graded. So I got Amazing Spider Man uh, 194 being graded. Uh, the first appearance of Fire Lord or Thor, I forgot the uh, number. And I got a Star Trek one signed by uh, William Shatner, George uh, Decay, and Walter Cohen. Cohen, I can't remember how to pronounce their names. I got one by a, a Robert Patrick, and then uh, the same book is signed by uh, uh, Furlong, the kid who played in the Terminator 2, and the Robocop one got signed by Peter Weller, and I got a She-Hawk one signed by one of the, uh, I think she was like a writer, inker, or something like that, and I got Winnie the Pooh number two signed by the guy who did the voice in the cartoon, and... I think that's it anyway i've been waiting for like almost a year so uh like, so basically i decided to use this company for conventions if they're there and this one for the covers i really like and i'll probably use this one for our stuff you know my just you know my uh personal collection stuff because it's cheaper and you know I ain't got a problem with them so far just about all the stuff that I've bought or have from all of these people it's about on mark so I mean I think you know I'm not gonna be picky I think they're pretty much on mark so and CGC you know I'll probably mail in books to have them signed, you know, by the people they have. And then, you know, when they catch up, I might sense the books in there, you know, have them do it. But I think last time I sent one in to have signed was Moon Knight, uh, first appearance of World by Night number 32. Anyway, I had signed. I forgot to mark, uh, press and clean. Came back, uh, 3.5 and the only thing it had on there was dirty basically spine stress and dirt soil on the back now if i was sent that same book to like pgx or probably even cegc i mean egs they would call up and say hey uh you know would you like to get pressed probably you know because it you know improve the grade they'll actually contact you you know i know pgx will usually because you can actually do uh, how you could do a pre screen press and clean with PGX. I would do that. You know, that way they say, well, you know, grade weight go go up or down, you know, blah, blah, blah. Stay the same if you press or clean it. They give me the option. That's what they all should do, actually. Um, but I think PGX is free to do that. And I don't know about uh, the other ones. Because I don't think they offer anything like that. But, uh, Anyway, I'm pretty much happy with the, the way it looks. I just wish they would have held it for the new case so I could properly compare them. So, but you know, I'll probably send something else in this fall. But, I mean, the book is a little crooked in there, if you can see. But I got a CGC one. Where the book's actually down here can't correct it you know it's actually pinched in there it's more crooked than this you know they always get crooked uh, a lot of times you can just hit them make them fall down and stuff this is too tight to do that apparently so this is really tight but anyway like i said i'm not you know disappointed Well, the thing I like about this book, though, is right here. The ping one's in it right here. I can love that. That's what I sent it in. I like the ping one. It's right here. It's pretty cool. Anyway, enough of this, I guess, and we'll get off here. I uh, hope you guys liked the video and everything. Um, like I said, you know, it's not that bad. It's a pretty old mark. 
So I only had like I said one incident with CGC with the press and clean because I forgot to do it. So the book probably would have been like maybe a four and a half with the press and clean maybe. But other than that, I mean I've been around the mark because I did another CGC one, Thor book. You know, I estimated eight and a half nine, came back at nine. So you know, I mean, so far everything's been on point when I sent it off. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. See, talk to you later. Bye.